search is intensifying for an off-duty firefighter who went missing in California wilderness. Mike Herdman hadn't been seen since Friday, June 13th, when he went for a hike. Rescuers catching sight of his dog, but unable to capture him, and now they are getting into close encounters with rattlesnakes. ABC's Lindsay Janice has the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Bianna. A fire chief who was part of the rescue crew was bitten by a rattlesnake on Friday and was in, in intensive care. The search area is so remote it would take two days to hike there, and so rescuers are having to be airlifted in. The ground they're covering, a thick forest with deep canyons and lots of animal activity, including bears and mountain lions. This morning, an around-the-clock search for a missing off-duty firefighter enters its seventh day. Overnight, the number of injured rescuers rising to five, including one bit by a rattlesnake. The hospital saying 52 vials of antivenom, a record number, were used to treat him. This is some of the toughest terrain we have in the, in the, in the state. New video from inside a search helicopter shows the thick and rocky Los Padres National Forest. Rescue teams are searching this area for Mike Herdman and his dog, Duke. It's, it's hard. Uh, it's just uh, the, the, I mean, we were keeping hope every day. Uh, we, we expect Mike to, to be found uh, or lo come up somewhere. Uh, so it's, it's been tough. Herdman was on a camping trip when Duke ran off. The 36-year-old went after him and never returned, leaving behind his backpack, even his shoes. Authorities have seen Duke several times, but have been unable to corral him. I hope that Duke's with Mike, so uh, we, if we find Duke, I hope we find Mike. Friends and family are hoping Herdman's skills as a firefighter, paramedic, and outdoorsman help his chance of survival. These people who are accomplished outdoorsmen, uh, they can stay self-sustained for days uh, without food rations if they don't have any. So we have hope that that's the case and that there's uh, not a critical injury. Well, Herdman wasn't camping on his own. He was with a friend, but the two became separated when Herdman's dog ran off. There is concern and suspicion that Herdman may be seriously injured and unable to move. His family and fellow firefighters say they have no intentions of giving up the search, no matter how dangerous. They're going to find their brother and bring him home. And the dog, and they, he's got some good friends.